Hello and welcome to another awesome episode of IVM Likes. I am Antrik Stakkar, joined by Snehil Aneja, Abbas Momin. Hello. And first timer and newbie <laughs> to the IVM podcast family, Meghnad. Yeah. yeah. Fun party, yeah. This is. So I fun. I found out yesterday that yeah. you're not a tucker. You're actually a tucker. Tucker, yeah. yeah. I was stunned. <laughs> I was like tucker. I know. Surname? So everyone, uh, first things that I'm Gujarati because tucker, which is T H A K K R, mm-hmm. is a very common Gujarati last name. And there are, I don't I don't think I've ever met another tucker. Their ancestors. <laughs> so I'm the only tucker existing. Like, so so people who have. Strange surnames, like unusual ones, which are like a little different from this. Either numerology, hmm. or they would just wanted to be cool. Your ancestors yeah, were yeah. like the OG people who were like, "Me Agrawal with two G, I'm Agrawal with three R's and four W's." Hai. Nice, yeah. yeah. That could be it. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're saying so I'm a very interesting family history. If I go back and yes, into it, you should actually, you should yes. go into it. Do, do, you guys your, uh, do you guys know about your family trees? By the way, no, I, your, very little. No, I only know till my grandfather, my father's father. Uske pehle mujhe nahi pata. Yeah, I know we are from Pakistan, right? Like my grand, both my grandparents. Yeah, go back to Pakistan. This is the one time he gets to say it. <laughs> no wonder Thakkar ka naam aise unhone kachra kar diya. <laughs> Pakistan jaise. Yeah, ja. yeah. Ya pe aake no, infiltrate yeah. kar gaye yeah. aur fir. Yeah, that's how we did it. Uh, <laughs> we were Gujaratis in Pakistan. <laughs> <back> <laughs> there. And then we came like, yeah, I'm Punjabi. Yeah, here, <laughs> Dale, what about you? Your, you know my, my maternal side is from Pakistan. Okay. Uh, Pita Shri mm. <laughs> But uh, have you have you seen your uh, great-great-grandfather or grandmother alive? I've seen my great-great-grandmother okay. uh, from my mm. maternal side. My uh, first birthday was my first birthday. Great-great? Mother's mother's grandmother, like in a way. Ha. Actually, a yeah, great great grandmother. <laughs> yeah, no, no. One great. That's one great. One great, not two greats. <laughs> I mean, your grandmother can also be great, but. Yes. But well, yeah, like I've greater, met. I've also strange things, strange yeah. things. Great. Mother, I've also met my Pardadi. Like I met my Pardadi. Oh, nice. Greatest mother. <laughs> greatest mother. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, so I I did this thing. Huh? So my last name. Is Sahasra Bhojni, okay? Hmm. And it's such a weird and bizarre yeah. last name. Nobody yeah, can so. spell it. A. I've heard Sahasra Buddha, but. Ha, exactly. Uh, that's I was a movie. That's, a, that's a, someone's that's, that's name really in a movie. It's someone. Yeah, three idiots. Yeah, no, Sahasra but, Buddha. Uh, so I asked my grandparents <laughs> about why we have this last name. And uh-huh. I've, I heard the most bizarre story, right? So apparently, uh, there is this small village near Nashik, okay, where my ancestors, whenever they were, were there. Shani <laughs> Sikhnapur. <laughs> random. Is that near Nashik? That's the only one I know near Nashik. <laughs> I don't know which village, but it was a village, basically. Okay. Okay. Uh, pe, uh, they, uh, one of my ancestors, like, w- got punished oh. for a crime that he committed and but Whoa. because he was Did a fucking upper class brahmin he got privilege oh wow okay so he uh got the punishment that you have to do gao one okay. which means like you have to feed the entire village Gao's. in oh. punishment ha. oh gao is one gao, gao. So like a month gao. or what How no long? no just like a hold a party community service yeah so uh essentially what he did was he hosted like this big ass party or the gao jevan and uh, the bosle kings showed up because they were in the area and they were invited so they showed up here oh. uh, like to that party right and uh, they were so impressed by how many people he was able to feed oh, uh, singularly geez. because he was, so he called he gave us the title sahasra bhojni which means people who fed a thousand people oh, someone who wow. fed a thousand people so so in a way, your ancestor doing a crime kind of gave him a title. But also yeah. fucking upper class privilege, <laughs> man. Yeah, crime <laughs> karte aur tum party throw hey, karo. What that... Meghnath, one thing. Uh-huh. Like, I have always heard Meghnath uh, was Ravan's son, right? Yes. So like Brahman family naming their son after Ravan's so wait. Oh, that's son, another Ravan. story. Okay. So again, I asked Mira in Nam. But Haan. Meghnath was Ravan's son who turned good. Uh, no, no, no. Right? That was Dibishan, which was oh, Ravan's Ravan. brother. Haan. Oh, I'm Thanks. sorry. Yes, Thanks. You're right. you, know your, <laughs> you are right. You are right. Yes. Uh, uh, you, oh, oh, you know your history. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know your history, man. I like it. Uh, no, but uh, huh. what is this shame? History. Dude, anyway. I think I like uh, Vibhishan and Meghna are the same person. Uh, Indrajit and Meghna are the same person. Yeah. 
Indrajit is the son oh, whose other is, okay. name is Meghnal. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And I'm not Indrajit to... is then not Ravan's son, is it? Yeah, Antrik, go back to Pakistan. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. Please go back Indrajit to Pakistan. Was, wasn't Indrajit... Achha, In... Antrik, we'll talk about it later. Sorry, let's go back. We'll talk about it Google. Let's, kar uh, okay. <laughs> let's get to the topic. No, uh, the topic. I don't want to know the story. Sorry, sorry. What is this? Sorry, sorry. I just thought... I thought we were done with... So not Cyrus Antrik. So, okay. So, I have two... Theory. One is a theory, one is a story I heard from okay. again my grandfather who explained it. So apparently, uh, uh, so I'm either named after this Rishi called Meghnad, the okay. Rishi who was there, or I'm named after Meghnad Saha, the scientist. Oh. Right. Okay. So I so I so my uh, grandfather gave both answers. One time he told me you're named after the Rishi. <laughs> the second time he told me he's named after the scientist. So I think he makes shit, shit up in his head. Yeah. yeah. So then uh, like, I came to the conclusion. The that latest bo- Meghnath he's seen in his life. <laughs> yeah. Like oh that's that you're supposed that to. Is what it is. But no. But then I had a theory that both of them are wrong. What I think is so my cousins are also named after Bengali. Okay. Mm. Satyajit, Shubankar, all that like fancy, right? Oh. My theory is that my grandfather was uh, in a relationship with a Bengali lady. Ooh. And they oh, decided that they will be children. So then they will keep some names. Right? I mean, it was happening. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. uh, ki, ha, bachche hoge, kya naam <laughs> that they will keep some names. At that time, there were four So, but then, that didn't work out. Right? He married my grandmother. Whatever. Marathi. Hmm. Uh, and, but... To, because he wanted to, you know, retain the memory of his first love or something. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, he named his so, grandchildren after. Yeah. You've know, given like, it too yeah, this, much thought. This did not go the way I was imagining it to go. <laughs> I mean, that's one theory. I'm, it's a working theory. Okay, I'll expand on it next time I come here. <laughs> Hypothesis. Do you, do you go back to your family tree and try and find a trace of a Bengali woman who could but not be? But she can't be there in the family oh, then, tree. Yeah. Uh, Whoa. But, but like, she, she might like, be in a Haveli. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah. Your, if your grandfather lived in Nasik, you were like, was, was there a Bengali lady yeah. living around my No, area? but now I can do this theory because he... Uh, he doesn't he's not alive anymore so right. I can actually make up shit about it and there is no but way w- to what confirm if the Bengali lady is alive though <laughs> the Bengali lady is alive and listening <laughs> she's one of our that's family. true yes. if this is true please I get understand. in charge she's if you are one of those yeah, if she's around <laughs> I'm assuming her hearing is not very good so I don't think she's listening to this <laughs> Bengali grandmother lady I have been named after one of your imaginary children so be- better get in touch yes so should we just get into uh, what we actually were meant to talk about before <laughs> before we talked about our all this and, and our family history. This entire conversation. Uh, no, but can Meghna I derail you once again? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Are you talking no. about how Delhi uh, trains are? <laughs> no, I, I wanted to ask you guys, what do you do here? IBM likes me. Yeah, we sorry, just, bhi. time pass. Ah. Ah. Yeah, time pass. We talk about pop culture. We talk about things. The name Bakchodi was taken by another shows. podcast, so we had to call this IBM likes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, but is it, you, wouldn't Bakchodi be an offensive word? No, or is it not? I have no idea. I've only. Who editing will know that it's beep or not? I've heard it in uh, college uh, hostels and dormitories. Of course, so, I have and, heard this yeah. word, but yeah. I heard because there is Chodi in it. I mean. No. No, we can uh, we can curse on this so podcast. I, I think oh, the assumption. Can, yes. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But I think the. Also, let's not go overboard. Yeah, okay, like. okay, okay. But I think with Bakcho, the assumption is that because there's the chod in it, the that is the word. It's a bad word. <laughs> 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 it's a bad word. <laughs> Once what I did was, I one time in Delhi, I went to a market. There, I went and I bought a t-shirt. I wrote on it, "I wrote Buck Lol." Baklol is also a word. Baklol is a word. It means it's a word. So I took it and I was like, so cool, I'll go to college, I'll wear it at home, I'll show my mom, I'll show my mom. 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 We haven't taught this to our children. Exactly. I'm like, ah, it's cool in college. No, but okay, I should have another. Do you want an official synopsis of this show? Uh-huh. It's a show where IBM employees, uh, mostly producers, get together uh, and talk about a particular topic uh-huh. and then uh, 
towards the end of the show we give our recommendations. favorite pop culture recommendations right. they can be yeah. movies tv uh, shows books articles whatever games games as you said and uh, in the last week of every month we do something called a pop wrap right. where we talk about uh, the pop culture we consumed in that particular month ah so, okay yeah. interesting yeah. it's it's funny that the creative director non fiction well na- finds out about the podcast <laughs> On, on, the the on the podcast, <laughs> non fiction on the podcast. That's also a good representation of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> Literally, I found out that the topic was uh, okay. As I said, uh, we're gonna be talking about Mumbai versus Delhi. Yes, that's the whole thing because uh, yes. Abbas and I are from Mumbai, Snehal and Meghnaad are from Delhi, and Gurgaon, are you from Gurgaon? Delhi? Re. <laughs> or Noida? <laughs> Insult? Why do you do that? Delhi. Delhi. Uh, Actually, I know Gurgaon and Noida. Walo, ko agar tum bol do na ki aisa Delhi se ho, to I think unko proud feel hona chahiye, ठीक है कि हमने तुम्हें include कराया. Are you from Gurgaon? You, you, <laughs> you, you live in that's, South that's Bombay, no? You live in South Bombay. No, I live in Pawai. Huh? That's the South Bombay of the suburb. For us <laughs> from South Bombay. No, but I was thinking like if you call a South Bombay, if you tell a South Bombay person, don't be able to say no. नेशनल कैपिटल रीजन नोएडा इज ऑल्सो एन एक्सटेंड इट्स नेशनल नोएडा इज एक्चुअली उत्तर प्रदेश So, and Gurgaon is Haryana. So if you travel oh, in okay, Delhi, right. if you take like a circle in Delhi, then you go through three states, which is Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, and uh, Haryana. Okay. So like two oh. states and one union territory. Hmm. So that's what we're going to talk um, about on wait. this episode. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> so exactly, that's what we're going to talk about. <laughs> <on this episode. laughs> and uh, so just stay tuned till after this very short break, and we'll be right back. Hello, hello, hello! It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On the Filter Coffee podcast, Karthik talks to Uni Radhakrishnan, CEO of Digitas India. Uni talks about what it's like being part of an idealistic organization and his leadership skills. The simplified hosts talk about globalization with a bunch of bad jokes. On Cap Gemini's Techpedia series, Sheila Ditya talks to Kalaiwani Ganesh Kumar, Vice President North America BU Cap Gemini. They discuss consumer patterns post COVID. On promotion and promotion talk, Abhinav ponders whether one can make their own career bulletproof. And on the longest constitution, Priya throws light on the Ambani filing an injunction against the book The Polyester Prince. Before I leave, I just want to remind you all that we have some amazing merchandise for you guys. Please go to our website, click on the shop tab, and check out the collection of T-shirts. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows, for that matter, please do tell a friend. Don't forget to rate us on any other platforms you're listening to us. And remember, you can also check us out on YouTube. We're also doing a small listener survey, which helps us understand who you all are. I mean, our listeners. And we'd really appreciate it if you could spare a few minutes to fill it out. It helps us build better shows for you. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week: Boat Lifestyle, Small Case, Cap Gemini, and Intel V Pro. Thank you so much for making this possible. And we're back. You know, I was uh, born in Delhi. Actually, I, really? I've lived in Bombay for like the last seventeen years or so. Mm. But uh, I was Which born in Delhi. You're a traitor, then. <laughs> yeah, I'm a traitor of two both sides. <laughs> I, I, I actually don't have like a preference. Preference. Like, I've, how old are my, you? I'm thirty now. तो uh, 17 years you lived in uh, so 13 साल की उम्र में आप मुंबई आए थे 13 साल की उम्र मतलब you hit Since puberty in Bombay no, or so, Delhi uh, so no no so we <laughs> Bombay Bombay <laughs> uh, I was born in Delhi first seven years of my life I was good in Delhi good place to uh, hit puberty yeah. <laughs> and years. then we shifted to Bombay and then my dad had transfer his job so we shifted to Bombay for five years then I went to Goa for two years and uh, in seventh year standard so I did nothing in Goa. And then came back to Bombay, and then since then we've been in Bombay. I, this is a very important question which should be asked to everyone, okay? Because uh, like, you're okay, you're born anywhere, but the place where you hit puberty, puberty. Yeah. is yeah, what shapes what you. you. Correct. That's yeah. a very yeah. And okay. so, uh, like, so you hit puberty in Bombay. Bombay, you? I also hit puberty in Bombay. You always lived in Bombay? No. Uh, so my favorite city in the in India is. as much as i love bombay is actually not bombay it's bangalore because i spent uh, the years uh, of 17 to 22 in hmm. in bangalore which were ah. very formative years hmm. so yeah sare fun wale years sare fun wale years wale ko wahan nikale that's college you did college in i did college in the uh, in college uh, christ no baba mai dentistry padhne gaya tha fir mai drop out karke aa gaya अच्छा वही जो कहानी आपने बताई थी पिछले एपिसोड में कि मैं सब में फेल होकर आया हां हां मैं सब में फेल हो गया 
Thanks for bringing me up again. Sab ne nahi fail hua third year tak pahunch gaya. But you moved to Bombay because your no, family so, moved so here. So my family uh, or my father's side of the family is uh, from a place which is 50 kilometers from here on the way to Nashik called Bhiwandi. Oh, Bhiwandi I know yeah. Yes. So that is where there isn't is, there a port there or something. There is not a port there. It it was known for uh, their uh, 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 hand hand looms. Right. Wahan That's kapra banta yeah, tha. Yeah, yeah. Then they became power looms, and now that industry is kind of dying. Mm. So mm. there was a huge contingent of uh, Uttar Pradesh migrants after independence who came to Bhiwandi for employment right. because they could get employed in these hand looms. Right. And uh, among those that migration was my my. great grandfather right so they have lived in bhiwandi ever since and because bombay is like 50 kilometers from there mm. it's it's ana jana was very common mm. and my mother side of the family is from mumbai oh, okay so yeah i spent a lot of my childhood here and uh, eventually then college and everything was was like mm. here so mm. and then after my bangalore stint i returned here in 2011 and since then i've Why never you been go- to delhi yeah. I've been to Delhi. One of my cousins is married to Delhi, oh, but uh, married, married, in Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> married in Delhi, yes. and she's actually a good example of uh, changing loyalties because she was a hardcore Mumbai car when she was here, and now oh, she wow. loves now Delhi. she loves Delhi, and she even her inflection and everything while speaking is very much of Delhiite. Uh, I so, I, I was very shocked, right? Thing. So this is a thing I don't understand. Yeah. So, someone I think Cyrus says say, Cyrus says <laughs> that. Uh, um, I don't have a Marathi accent. I got very offended. It's like you sound like yeah, a Delhi you, person. You, I think you do, but you do a little bit. Yeah, you, you, I, you have like a true mixture between the two. Though. So yeah, when I speak Hindi, apparently people say that I sound like a Delhi kar. I I'm I'm like okay, what? Delhi kar. Delhi wala. Delhi wala. Yeah, that that, that didn't sound very Delhi kar. Has <laughs> <laughs> so you you were from? De- I, shuru se hi Delhi. I moved to. But Mumbai. you hit puberty in Delhi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I you still hitting Mumbai. puberty though. <laughs> <laughs> I moved to Mumbai when I was twenty three. I uh, got my admission in Xavier's, so that is when I moved to Mumbai. Ah, show off. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, man? Meghna? Then... I I uh, I grew up in Nagpur. I hit puberty in Nagpur, and Achha, then I guys, you can take a shot every time I say hit puberty. No, 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 no. I don't consider myself a part of Maharashtra, by the way. Nagpur is not a part of Maharashtra. Vidarbha Vegra Zhalat. Just random politics. Like, yeah, okay. But anyway, so like, uh, I moved to Delhi in 2011 for this fellowship hmm. called Legislative Assistance to Members of Parliament. So I started working in the parliament uh, in 2011, hmm. and I was working with like multiple members of parliament from wow. there. So and then after that, I did uh, basically I wrote for BuzzFeed and a bunch of places. Then I then worked with News Laundry for five years. Hmm. So now I have been in Delhi since 2011. 11 years. 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. 11 years. Yeah. You're planning to move to Bombay, is that right? No. <laughs> Not all. No, like not like a temporary house. No, no. That rich people like you can have. No? Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> for, for this, refer to the last Cyrus says episode on. Yeah, exactly. Those, like <laughs> refer to the last Cyrus says episode. But uh, no, but I'm not moving to Bombay. I'll be coming here once a month now, oh, okay. like for a week or something, awesome. and three weeks in Delhi. So uh, because the thing is that non-fiction के लिए a lot of people are in Delhi. Right. So the mm. kind of shows that we want to make, the kind of content I want to make, and if any Sunset Watch fans are listening to this, uh, just wanted to tell you that I will be coming up with some very exciting shows soon. बहुत लोग बोल रहे थे मुझे मतलब Twitter पे YouTube पे सब लोग कि Sunset Watch कहाँ है लोगों तो पता ही नहीं है कि मैं चला गया हूँ वैसे भी तो like the अभी भी गाली मारते हैं मुझे कि न्यूज लॉन्ड्री कितनी चूतिया कंपनी है <laughs> मैं भी क्या <laughs> किया है बस आपके ज्वाइन करते टाइम <laughs> मुझे पांच से छह दोस्तों का फोन आया ब्रो आई हर्ड एंड आई लाइक कौन है मुझे क्या <laughs> <laughs> Google and then I'm searching. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Why is everybody calling me and telling me that why make na? And then I went on a dinner date the same day, huh. and then she's like, "Show off." Uh, uh, so you're saying Meghnath figured out the what the podcast yeah. on the podcast. You figured out who who the guest was on the podcast. No, no. Oh, my! The first day, how much bus was around? I was like, then yeah. then then I googled and everything, and then when I went on the date, uh, dinner date, and then she's like, "Ah, uh, dude, you must be very happy." 
ऐसा तो कुछ हुआ नहीं है मेरी लाइफ में मैं क्यों खुश हूँ फोन करना चाहिए था मेघनाथ को अरे मैं जानता हूँ उसको अभी अभी बात करवा देता हूँ No, but I, I mean this is actually nice that you didn't know me. So now are you happy that I've joined you? <laughs> I mean someone yeah. normal who is like happy कि अरे नया आदमी आया हमारे साथ के लिए. All you fan girls, I tell you. But uh, no, but I, I was. This is actually a thing because uh, like that yesterday I was hanging out with Shreyas. Uh, we went to Blue Tokai, right? And right. Uh, this. guy who was like sitting there and kept staring at me when i was walking off he got up and he's like uh, you know make the that big fan sunset watch etc i'm so sad sunset watch is not happening anymore please tell us you are bringing something else i was like like koi mar nahi gaya karega kuch to karega yahan pe ab yahan pe bhi ye wahi karna hai zyada karna hai but uh, the funny thing is shreyas was like uh, you know i have noticed something all of your fans have glasses <laughs> And oh, haan, she also. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so it's so weird because right after that I went to do a stand up spot at yeah. Durango's, and वहाँ पे the two people who had come because I was there were wearing glasses. So <laughs> Shreyas ने वो जो joke मारा stage पे जाके कि you know this guy इसके जो सब fan है ना वो सब glasses पहन के ये दोनों को देखो. And he he literally keeps proving that theory man. Like दब से दो तीन और लोगों से मिला सबके पास glasses है. I'm like ये सही में एक it's very. So it makes sense Nehal didn't know who you were. So Abbas and Antariksh are fans. Exactly yes. Yeah. I am yes. Yes yes. Yes yes that's really I love music. <laughs> okay uh let's actually just get into the topic man it's been 20 minutes and it's still not we've been uh, sort probably. of skittering around yeah, skittering the topic around it hum ncr mein hai delhi aa rahe acha main shuru karega team delhi ki taraf se yes sure. right team okay. delhi okay but, but why do there have to be teams is what i'm saying like i i feel i'm very objective i i'm very, very aware of the shortfalls of no, my no. city and i'm very aware of the uh, shortfalls of delhi also i would say uh, uh, okay but the yeah. so, okay uh, start so like the food thing is legit let's because, talk about also yeah. because in the yes. categories <laughs> likh ke laya na homework yeah, yeah. kiya hai bachche ne jal chal bol kya bol i think uh, the food thing first just get the food debate over because yeah. that, that we don't want that to take uh, that is 10 delhi uske upar kya hi baat hai yeah precisely no, 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 i have things that, to say I about this kya misar pao you also agree with no i agree with ha misar pao oi the thing is average food is definitely better in delhi like street food is better in delhi the average restaurants food is better in delhi yes. without a doubt yes fine dining sure if you want good food in bombay i think you have to go to fine dining mm. or like those little haunts and yeah. little like you know like legacy places that are been around for ye ladka bahut homework karke hai that's exactly my point that's the way i look at it can i say my bit sure sure i will admit okay delhi Haan. food is on average better yes. yeah. tastier more delicious <laughs> so, more readily available yeah yahan yahan pe main edit dal dunga <laughs> Why do Delhi people come to Bombay? Specifically, choose places where they serve uh, North Indian food. Then, when they get the food, they're like, "Arey, wo baat nahi hai." I'm like, "They don't eat it." I'm saying there is when you go to the, ha, bhuke mar jao. I'm saying when you go to another city, appreciate the Dude, food culture that of is, that city. But you can't help but do if that. If I am no? with a Delhi friend, if I am with Snehil, yeah. okay, and I'm like, Snehil, chal dinner karna jaate. There is a Malwani restaurant. Let's go have there. Malwani food, Bharatian hmm. food. Hmm. Let's go have there. No, hmm. here Papa Pancho. चलते हैं ना Papa Pancho में North Indian खाना. वो यार मुझे जाना है Papa Pancho. सुन सुन सुन. हाँ तो क्या होगा मैं बताता हूँ. फिर मैं और स्नेहिल जाएंगे Papa Pancho. ठीक है ये menu खोलेगा. वो ये इतना महंगा यार. छोले भटूरे इतने में हमारी दिल्ली में तो इतने महंगे नहीं होते. वो चलो ठीक है यार वो कुलचे मंगा लेते पराठे मंगा लेते हैं ठीक है एंड लुक एट द डेकोर एंड ही लाइक ये यार ऐसे दिल्ली में तो ऐसे ढाबे नहीं होते दिल्ली में तो रियल होता है ये वो एंड एज सुन एज द पराठा अराइव्स ही इज लाइक पराठों में वो बात नहीं है यार कुलचो में वो बात नहीं अरे आटे में घी लगा के दिया है तुझे है पराठा नो नो यू सिलेक्ट द नॉर्थ इंडियन प्लेस बट यू क्रिटिसाइज बट दैट्स मोर ऑफ अ डिबेट अबाउट नॉट द फूड बट अबाउट द पीपल Are yes. You know? Yeah. I think no, that's no. the thing. No, yes. I yeah. think Abbas, you, you have to realize. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have to realize uh, who to take seriously about Delhi. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Punjabis and Haryanvis make terrible brand ambassadors for Delhi, <laughs> and, oh, and the state it, and Delhi is full of them. Exactly. No, they are. But yeah. then you need to find the select few who aren't okay. Punjabis or Delhi, and then ask for their opinion. Like, ham. So 
Delhi is primarily a migrant city, right? So, yeah. so is Bombay. No, no, but like Bombay, may for example, uh, it was like a collection of villages which turned into a city mm-hmm. over time, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Delhi is the uh, longest occupied living city in the history of mankind, or something mm-hmm. like that. Uh, you can fact check me on that. I think it is true. But um, the uh, the point is that literally everyone I know in Delhi right now. Uh, is a migrant. Yeah. Like they came for work, they came for college, they stayed there or, the, or opportunities. Gurgaon to bara hua hai. Mm-hmm. Of course, there are uh, families which are Punjabis, Haryanis, but then they also came in like around the partition or before that, etc. So it is like a, it has always been the city where there has been a constant flow of migration coming in and coming out. So it's like this. Um, it has a lot of uh, living memory, like you know, if that that makes sense. Right. Not like actual. So there is actual history, like which is of course monuments and all mm-hmm. that, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it has a lot of dynamic living memory, right? So like the the population keeps changing. Like it keeps morphing into something else. So, like you know, at one point, um, uh, like there was a giant uh, Parsi population also there. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, Sindhi population, etc. Now, a Bengali population was not there, but now if you go to CR Park, mm. full of full, Bengalis. Full of, okay. Right? It's like going to mini, Calcutta. I mean, mini Bengal is the CR Park. The biggest temple of Durga Puja is in Delhi. Ka, mm. wo lagta hai. And, th- and I think that is why Delhi has no specific culture. Nahi hai. Exactly. Yeah. Sabka that's what mix, I was coming to. Sabka I would argue that, that's, that's the same, same in Bombay. Bombay that's well. similar in Bombay. No, no. In Bombay, mein, you still have like a Maharashtrian culture. Yes. You'll yes. But it's not all... the dominant culture. There is, nee. again, you will find... No, no, like, but like in the sense, Oi, in Bombay there no, are areas Shivsa, also, right? Shiv Sena ki state mein aur BJP. Nahi, abhi I'm nahi saying Maharashtra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, of course, there is a very prominent Maharashtrian influence yes, because yeah. it's the most prominent city in Maharashtra. Yeah. But I, I, if you talk about uh, uh, Navratri, also is celebrated with the ha, same ha, ha. fervor. No, no, oh, I'm Eid not. is also celebrated with the same fervor. No, you I'm not to... denying that there are a lot of migrants in Bombay. Of course, there yeah. are. I mean, you are a migrant also yes. here. He is a migrant here. Correct. Uh, you are also a migrant here. So, I mean, there are, of course, migrants here. I'm not saying that. But what I'm this saying is... This is Maharashtra. Just saying. We I have would, a Maharashtra oh, in the room. I would, in yes. fact, I mean, I would say Pan- uh, Delhi has more of a Punjab influence than Bombay has a Maharashtra influence. I would disagree. Okay. I would disagree because in Delhi, I think you can also like correct me if I'm wrong. But if you go to Delhi, na, it are is... you guys saying I'm just wrong, hanging out with the wrong kind of Delhi? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Precisely. opinion <laughs> <laughs> uh, So what I'm saying is in Delhi, I don't know. It's a very interesting phenomenon, also, right? And you must have seen it. Ki one community ghettoizes and becomes like a like a society. So mm-hmm. like there is a Punjabi bag, there is yeah. a CR park and there are like ye specific, ye hai yeah. aur ye aur even aur... in Malviya Nagar where I live, there is a specific area where all the Punjabis are concentrated. Yeah, so and you live in Nagar only? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like I just say in Malviya Nagar. Okay, it's okay. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks yeah. Antarik. Just random, dude. Uh, Dilli how mein how, how often do you talk about Malviya yeah. Nagar? I'm just saying it's a random. No, but I, I'm just saying that... Uh, I, I don't know if this is a phenomenon here. I haven't seen it uh, in Bombay. My, maybe I'm wrong. But in Delhi, this is a thing, right? This you know, like, it, yes. there's like this concentrated group of migrations that are happening in particular areas. Okay. Which are there. Oh, uh, Majnu Katila. Wait, that, that is what a, I said. Majnu Katila. Yeah, exactly. What Majnu's congregated there. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are uh, Tibetans, etc. who okay. came to... Oh, okay. yeah. 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 Dolma Aunty ka naam suna hoga, yeah. Dolma Aunty, yeah. Huh, what is the obsession of Delhiites with momos? Why are you? That is obsessed? exactly what I was saying. But that is like a very recent thing also. Man. That like is not Vada Pao, man. Giving you that yes. this if you want to rate the food from food Bombay, one zero, yes. I will. I'm not saying Bombay food is bad. Write this down. Delhi is better, but I'm just saying stop cribbing about Bombay food. Delhi people when you come here that is I point. will crib about it no please but the thing there. is Aray, I'm sorry. Yaar, <laughs> See, Abbas, I think we uh, are also guilty of that in the sense no, I, no, no, when no, I no, go no, to no. Delhi or when you go to Lonavla Chennai when you go to Lonavla and order Chiki <laughs> butter chicken there butter chicken. Uh, butter chicken. then you go to Bombay is better I don't do but 
what you are saying in but Lunala, would, you won't go have a, Lunala, like, uh, I will not uh, order butter chicken what will you order like kebab order kare kebab order kare you don't order zulka bhakar do you i do ha uh-huh. i'm like yeah i'm like this I, I, if even if i do i'm not expecting a great butter chicken in lona i mean yeah. yeah you need a temporary expectation that's again like a delhi thing i think uh, yeah. delhi people because they are louder they are more boisterous yes and this because that's true. their expectations i think we are building a lot more thing have more. Thing. Have <laughs> thing, uh, like uh, samosa ke sath pav kyu kha rahe ho are because it's like a compact thing where you can have <laughs> bread and become, samosa correct. together but that also become a troll thing now man like everyone just uh, like samosa ke sath khao na yaar usme kya exactly <laughs> samosa but there, i still find delhi are, people who are yeah. like tum log samosa ke sath pav khate ho pav it is weird ab kya ho raha hai it is a garbage <laughs> combination it is not a good it, combination i agree freakishly garbage combination but it gets the job done that's You had uh, 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 in Pune. Uh-huh. I had a Mister Pao Mayo. Okay, it is actually the most amazing thing I've ever <laughs> eaten. Like the Mister Pao, uh-huh. but they put mayonnaise and sauces on it. Okay, and then they give it to you, obviously. And uh, it's seriously good. And <laughs> like, ये क्या magical item बनाया इन लोगों ने? तो वहाँ पे दिल्ली में भी ये हुआ है. तंदूरी मोमोस राइट अगेन आई वाज लाइक स्कैंडलाइज्ड कि तुम ये एक नॉर्थ ईस्ट का डिश लेके आए विच इज लाइक बेसिकली दिस को पंजाबी बना दिया नो बट इट्स बिकम रियली पॉपुलर डिस्क्राइब द परफेक्ट मोमोस इट्स लाइक दिस डेलिकेट थिन लेयर ऑफ यू नो कवरिंग आउटर कवरिंग With like either chicken and veg or whatever vegetables you want to put in it, so it's a dumpling mm. and then fried. Right, <laughs> is the way. I it's like. not. It's steamed. <laughs> steamed. Yeah. Yeah. I love fried. Fry we have. Uh, now uh, North Indians they start. <laughs> now how <laughs> atrocious do you have to be to take this delicate, perfectly created, handcrafted item and fucking put it in a tandoor? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing, man? But it's amazing. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's, it's 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 delicious. It's is, is, is it like naan outside? Kind of? Naan, naan, naan nahi re. It's, it's a maida. Maida. Ha, matlab it's a covering. Yeah, it can be different uh, kinds of coverings okay. also. Ah, okay. So, but but basically in Delhi it's maida. Like hmm. so, it's like this ah. thin layer of maida, like and yeah, and they steam it. Abi, yeah. ek aur creativity hui hai momos mein, which they call cocktail momos. Yes. So, kya karte ho? Oh. Kya karte hai? सो सीन नहीं सीन क्या है आप लोग जब मोमोज लेते हो तो आपको लाल चटनी और म्योनीस के साथ मोमोज मिलते हैं राइट तो वो उसमें क्या करते हैं फ्राई कर दिए मोमोज और लाल चटनी और म्योनीस का पेस्ट बना लेते हैं मिक्स करके और उसके अंदर उनको आप मतलब वो करके या या मतलब फिर वो आपको बेसिकली आप खाओ वही चीज रहे हो बट वही तो वो ये देयर इज दिस थिंग कॉल्ड प्रॉन कॉकटेल्स राइट यू नो वही तो करते हैं ना मतलब चटनी और तुम मेयोनीज मिला के ऐसे ऐसे करके एक शॉर्ट ग्लास में देके उसमें ऐसे ऐसे प्रॉन बाहर निकल रहे हैं दैट इज बेसिकली प्रॉन कॉकटेल व्हाट अदर टॉपिक्स आर देयर अपार्ट फ्रॉम फूड सो आई हैव लाइक अ होल थिंग लाइक आई देयर वांट टू टॉक अबाउट पॉइंट्स डिड यू हैव 19 19 एक्चुअली 18 uh this needs to be done for a week yeah, yeah exactly so three episodes next three episodes sorted after that sir okay no but uh, this should so, be uh, no actually antarik sorry interrupting no, no, you yeah. if you have 19 points this should actually be a continuous topic uh, for sure. a few days because yeah, why not yeah bolo theek hai so we bolo, will, sir. you will join us from online also when ha ha bilkul aa jayega yeah, yeah. ha bol uh next up is let's talk about infrastructure and roads okay delhi again is better i'm giving i'm giving doing the delhi one Haan, first main wahi keh raha hu bombay ke liye kuch hai <laughs> bombay is going to come back Haan, main bolu back <laughs> but kya? public delhi transport okay public you transport. have the metro yes. Yes. but delhi the auto wala auto wala way more meter pehli baat but zarurat nahi hai delhi mein auto rickshaw ki har precisely har kone pe aapko metro station milega jo aapko auto se bahut zyada saste mein oh also in in delhi now that's what now bahut zyada saste mein because dude it is definitely more convenient to just take an auto but you can't because oh. you don't go by meter this is so much more expensive nahin, nahin, in, nahin, in bombay nahin, nahin, it's all auto nahin, nahin. also no, delhi but rajiv chowk station is a mess i so, can't get so on no. a metro Aray. no Aray. yeah mat usme ek second dadar ka local main chala tha wo Aray. Aray. i would wahi main keh raha hu na aisa nahi ki tumhara infrastructure koi bahut i have hai. recurring nightmares about people about dadar station <laughs> where people i love are drowning in a crowd and dying <laughs> <laughs> recurring nightmare okay i have gone to dadar station twice megna i don't think it's a dream it's a memory <laughs> that you are telling me No, but uh, one thing I wanted to add for the public transport. Haan. So Delhi now has these electric scooter exactly, type things. Exactly, I was just saying that. So which actually has made uh, point A to point B. That Zulu type. Ah, uh, but like you can uh, rent it on an app and then oh, you can cool. take it around. Why? Ten rupees. 
दस रुपए में इलेक्ट्रिक सो बेसिकली इट्स लाइक दिस स्टैंड वेर यू जस्ट एंड दिस इज टाइनी कार्टूनिश लुकिंग बीच बीच में हर चीज का भाव बता रहा है भाई दस रुपए में भाई पंद्रह रुपए में बैठ लो पार्लियामेंट जाता था तो द मेट्रो इज जेन्यूनली लाइफ सेवर मैन Like for a person who was new to the city and who was uh, earning a shit amount of money, hmm. like gande rent, gande se flat me chhe log ke saath reh raha hai. I thought he was going to say shit loads of money. Haan, main wohi soch raha tha. Does he mean lots of money nee, or very less money? I was doing a fellowship, guys. Please. Okay. Uh, so when I came there, na, so Kamla Nagar, which is the university area, is yeah. where I was living. वहां से मुझे सुबह आठ बजे ऑफिस पहुंचना पड़ता था तो आई हैड टू लीव एट लाइक सिक्स थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग इफ आई केम आई नॉर्मल यू नो लाइक ये बट लाइक विद द मेट्रो आई कुड लाइक गेट देर इन ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट एंड सुबह कोई रश भी नहीं होता था इट्स ऑल एयर कंडीशन एंड प्लस इट्स वॉकेबल So I used to walk from home to the metro, and then I would walk from the metro to yeah. my office. So the thing is, जब हमने बोला, जब हमने बोला metro, 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 जब हमने बोला और आप क्या बन रहे हैं सेंट्रल विस्ता में क्या किया है तुम लोगों ने वो भी तो बात करो वो हम लोग ने नहीं किया बट कहना है कहना है मोदी महल को कुछ नहीं बोलने का दिस वरुण ग्रोवर का एक जोक था कि जब कोई बॉम्बे का आदमी दिल्ली जाता है ना तो ऐसा लगता है जैसे कोई मिल वर्कर जब सेठ के घर जाता है ना क्या अच्छा यहाँ जा actually a thing and we were talking about this as well uh, one thing i have to give a uh, bombay huh. you can't tell richness from you know like the people <laughs> you yeah that in delhi in delhi, in delhi you will a, very well know very, yeah. very well like, know how that, rich a that, person that, is there is a show offness in delhi yes, that actually, is not when i yeah, got big yeah, yeah. auto so my first uh, uh, job here was paying me बहुत ही खराब पैसा जो कि मतलब तो मैं उसमें जा रहा था एंड देन दैट गाय वाज फ्रॉम डेली ओके एंड uh, मैंने उसको <laughs> कुछ बोला तो ही गेस्ट फ्रॉम माय एक्सेंट कि मैं दिल्ली से हूँ एंड देन लाइक भैया आप दिल्ली से हो मैंने कहा हाँ जी तो देन सडनली लाइक बैंड चोद मुंबई यार यू बिन वेटिंग ऑल योर फॉर The the very uh, uh, Delhi thing, the, the BC will yeah, tell you yeah. the emotion yeah, yeah, yeah. whether it's like good or bad. whether it's bad. <laughs> and and the entire intonation, ride, yeah, intonation. Yeah, and the entire ride is like. मुंबई वालों को पैसा खर्चना नहीं आता है कमाते क्यों हैं अपने अंदर लेके बैठ जाएंगे सारे पैसा भाई भाई नो So that's because of cost of living is so high in Bombay compared to Delhi. Uh, no 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 that's not that's, okay. that's definitely so no uh, there are people who have like fuck all expensive houses yeah. they have a yeah, lot yeah. of money. Correct. But I think as a culture only uh, it is not very show offy. I don't know why I I I've not really thought about it. But I know for a fact in Delhi yeah. it is very show offy also. because going back back to the migration argument that uh, there is always this thing that my community is more powerful than your community sort of a thing going on mm-hmm. mape right mm-hmm. my area is better mm-hmm. than your area sure. and wo dikhane ke liye i think a lot of people sort of show off right mm-hmm. i mean अरे मैं मैं सिलेक्ट सिटी गया था उस दिन राइट सिलेक्ट सिटी इज अ मॉल गाइस यू यू मुंबई का इट्स द बेस्ट मॉल बेस्ट मॉल या गाइस वी हैव अ जियो मॉल नाउ इन जियो ड्राइव मॉल से चार आ जाएंगे सिलेक्ट सिटी के Yes, बस वही तो है इनके पास उटर <laughs> 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 Now this guy comes out right behind us and he's he's on the phone with someone. Like, 
यार फिर से घेर लिया लैम्बो को एक काम कीजिए वो ड्राइवर को बोल ऑडी भेज दे एंड लाइक वाइट वी वेर वेटिंग फॉर द ऊपर क्लियरली ही लिफ्ट क्लोज बाय ओके बिकॉज द ऑडी लिटरली केम इन थ्री मिनट्स और आईडर इट वॉज मार्क समेर आई डोंट नो बट दिंग ऑडी केम अगेन अ वेरी एक्सपेंसिव लाइक एस यू वी ऑडी एस यू ऑडी टोट लेफ्ट इज लैम्बोर गिनी देर एज अ शो पीस मैन For people to take photos, बाद में आके लेके जाएगा driver types. I'm like what? जितनी देर में इनकी Uber नहीं है, very selfless. उसकी दो गाड़ियाँ, उसकी दो गाड़ियाँ आके चलिए मैं क्या हो गया? और वही ना, so this show off the culture is extreme in uh, in, in Delhi in a lot yeah. of ways. Yeah. So मतलब Delhi में ये बात कहते हैं कि अगर आपके पास 100 रुपए हैं तो आप हजार का दिखाते हो. हाँ. अगर आपके पास हजार रुपए हैं तो आप 100 का दिखाते हो. That's actually very true. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, that's true. That's a great point, Snehil, about the show offiness of these Delhi people. Of you guys, <laughs> mm. uh, but you are also quite showy. I must say, ah, huh? Sahil, you wear yeah. like very cool clothes, <laughs> extremely cool sneakers. Bling, always. Bling. What is the most expensive sneakers you own? He he's wearing Crocs right yeah. now. Is that like, for for this episode especially? You like <laughs> let's not go. Uske for the show off thing. I'm, I'm toning it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, leather ka must put pen. I have a uh, hush puppies. Yeah, these shoes. I know. PTM pe parents pen ke jaate. Mm, yeah, exactly. I'm waiting for. I just don't have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I go to random yeah. kids' PTA meeting. नहीं या फिर आंटियाँ swimming करने जाती हैं ना तो वो पहनती हैं। ये पहनती हैं। But the show finest thing. Welcome to the roast of Antarik Stucker. Like that's every day I wear for fun. But uh, that leads us actually the show finest leads us perfectly into cost of living in these two cities. Hmm. Uh, where uh, Bombay, I feel like to live de- to uh, to live decently, hmm. I think you require like. At least a fifty k salary. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because see, I think like a decent house would be like twenty five, thirty k. Even a, even a one BHK would be like at least twenty five k in like areas such as Juhu or. Where? Who are these brokers? Please <laughs> give me their number. Or, mo, is I say, are you saying fifty fifty k is less? No, I'm Eight saying twenty five k is less. Twenty five k, dude. At the bare minimum, I'm saying. Bhai, bare Delhi is way cheaper. Where will you get? 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 Where एंड डोमी बोली उसके बीच में और आजू बाजू कल्याण में भी बहुत गंदे रेंट है खाने में भी रेंट है दादर की तो शक्ल भी नहीं एक्सपेंसिव रहने वाली एक्सैक्टली वाई इज दादर एक्सपेंसिव बिकॉज यूर मिड वे फ्रॉम द सब एंड टाउन दादर इज एक्सपेंसिव दादर स्टेशन पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी आई फील लाइक डेली हैज अट मोर ओपन स्पेसिस मैं वही बोल रहा हूँ डेली का ही बोल रहा हूँ एग्जैक्टली वॉट आई एम सेंग की डेली में लाइक द फ्लैट आई लिव राइट नाउ लाइक सस्ता है you know uh, two bedroom i have a study exactly. i have i have one balcony in the front one balcony in the back wow, one like terrace see this is almost pay, unheard of do you pay less than 50000 yes Wait, okay, dude, i'm leaving guess, bro fuck this can shit we, can we guess can we mumbai guess oh yeah sorry. are you kidding me yeah wow. I, and I it's a oh no and it's a stand alone house so i have a garden can you take with take and, me with you and a garden dude to, wow. tomorrow when you leave <laughs> i'll work with you from delhi but no yeah. but my point is uh, so i live in malvia nagar it's a semi ओके और मालवीनगर अच्छा इलाका है है अच्छा इलाका बट इफ यू गो टू लाइक अ गीतांजलि व्हिच इज आल्सो नेबरिंग पॉश एरिया वेरी पॉश वहाँ पे सेलिब्रिटीज रहते हैं बेसिकली राइट दिल्ली के सेलिब्रिटी एक्चुअली यस दैट्स ट्रू सर्वोदया ऑल दीज प्लेसेस सो वहां पे यू कैन गेट अ डू प्ले विद टेरिस गार्डन फॉर एटी के वाह And you have wow. you have like it's a literally a duplex. I mean, you have two halls, four bedrooms, 
पांच बाथरूम है दो किचन है और ये है टेरेस गार्डन भी है बैल्कनी लग्जरी है मुझे मुंबई आगे क्यों आया फिर मुझे भी स्टैंड अप का स्पॉट करना था तो मुझे बॉम्बे आके ही करना लाइक दिल्ली में नहीं होता है बस दिल्ली में एक तो क्राउड इतना व्यर्ड है की कोई तो भी बार में स्पॉट चालू रहेगा एक्सेट्रा कोई सुन भी नहीं रहा है और आपको गोली भी लग सकती है That's also true. उस दिन पांच कॉमिक्स थे उनके स्पॉट कैंसिल कर दिए Impromptu performance ke liye, I mean it's Chris Martin. Sure, yeah, I mean, Chris Martin, Martin man. They get bumped I know, get for cold play. Also. <laughs> एक तो इतना rarely open mic होता है उधर ऊपर से Chris Martin आके बस play करके चला गया वो भी cancel कर दिया वही ना भाई वहाँ पे जो आपका audience है so basically Delhi वाले shock नहीं थे जब Chris Rock को थप्पड़ पड़ा क्योंकि उनके लिए वो yeah normal ये तो होता रहता है हमने ग्रेट <laughs> <laughs> um equidistant from all points in the city mandi house great place to also like uh, uh infrastructure is it's a posh area it's the central delhi area right wahan pe kafi options hai like you know you can do theaters plays yeah, chalte rehte hai is, is it true that the delhi theater scene is better than bombay yes. i'm yes, not much no no definitely right it, is, it, uh, it is better now i think it would be but again i haven't really seen but nsd and all is in delhi so yeah. very well could be like sure. it's not like i'm an authority and i'm saying ha mm, sahi hai haan. but like i'm i have seen a lot of plays in delhi i have seen a few in bombay so bombay um, and delhi I has think... more options and it's Haan, more exactly. frequent let's exactly. go basically that, right? delhi mein jo acche theater actors hain wo apna bollywood aur more into industry aane ke liye bombay aate bombay aate wo karna padta hai but, but yeah. ek aur hai bombay mein specifically uh, marathi plays has a scene apparently and hmm. pune mein to definitely hai marathi hmm. scenes gujarati marathi theater gujarati also, also yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so so one of my friends wanted to come here and you know get into acting and all so he was like uh, bhai main mumbai aake koi theater group join kara do so that is when i told him ki bhai theater group join karna and you want to do theater theater per se बॉम्बे इज नॉट द प्लेस टू डू दैट बिकॉज ए यूल नॉट गेट पेड की तुम बॉम्बे का रेंट और ये सब अफोर्ड कर पाओ करेक्ट तो बी इन डेली मंडी हाउस इज लाइक द हब लोग बाकायदा मत्था टेकने जाते हैं मंडी हाउस में कि ये थिएटर का वो है हब है बेसिकली जितने बड़े थिएटर्स हैं पृथ्वी फॉर बॉम्बे पृथ्वी इज वन प्लेस ना बॉम्बे में लाइक एक थिएटर ये है वहां पे आपको एस आर सी सी है एंड और बहुत सारी जगह है वहां पे तो If you want to do theater, theater, you can do theater there, and mm. then if you want to come into the industry, then after having a good theater experience, mm. you can come here and do like mm. acting in uh, web shows and all of that. वहाँ पे तुम अपना try कर सकते हो. But to come here and like do theater, that is, मतलब I think not reasonable. Yeah. इतना scene भी नहीं है. यहाँ पे more people come to like do acting classes. Bollywood. Bollywood. हाँ मतलब जहाँ पे आपको एक hero की तरह बनाते हैं कि आपको martial arts करा रहे हैं, आपको dance classes हो रहे हैं. Yeah, I did all. I did. Is, <laughs> are you also a comedian? 
no, he's an actor. No. I, I, I'm an actor. You're an actor. Okay, so I think I have a good audience for this theory that I have. I have this theory in Bombay uh, in the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s. We used to use this, hear these stories, right? Mm. Where, oh, he was going to become an Bombay mein actor. Ah. Tha. Mm. Like, you know, people used to come from Bihar, UP, all these My places. My dad did this. Oh, yeah, amazing. So, Amazing. Uh, oh, I also okay. have okay, a relative we, whose uh, daughter did this. Like, and and bahut scandal hua tha, but then mm. like singing karna hai, to jana hai, Bombay jana hai. Um, I feel like uh, now uh, because of this OTT and everything, the film industry has expanded a little bit. Like, so there are yeah. way more options outside of uh, Bombay also where you can create things, right? Yeah. Uh, UP has a thriving, uh, you know, ye, market. Matab, market right now. And plus, uh, studios coming up, yeah. Noida Film City, all those places. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, I think uh, the comedy scene has become like that, which is uh, people are coming from all over the country to Bombay to, Bombay. to become like these big yeah. comics, but only the don't 20 come, guys. People... Stop coming. There are already less spots, <laughs> but only the 20 people in the top <laughs> actually end up earning any money. Yeah, 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 sab yeah, zero yeah, rupees yeah. Like a show especially in comedy. Uh, I would that say that theory thing. was true, uh, till about. A year and a half or two years ago, hmm. because now uh, I what I have noticed is the number of live performance spaces for comedy has shrunk down in Bombay also, because the pandemic made ah. them all shut down. And a friend of mine, a comedian friend of mine, told me the reason is that in Bombay everybody opens these spaces in collaboration with someone. Right. Yeah. In Delhi, people own the space. Yes. So even if the space is we shut, can't, we can't own the spaces because exactly, you can't. You because never you can't earn, pay the rent. You can't pay the rent. Uh, you even, won't earn that much uh, to be able to pay. Love fifteen patisserie, which was owned by Pooja Dingra, their main uh, branch was in Kolaba. It shut down, I think, three weeks into the lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So even so, something that is, she caters to the biggest Bollywood celebrities and all of this. Even mm-hmm. she couldn't sustain afford to... or afford the rent in Kolaba. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I think in Bombay, the number of live performance venues for stand-up have reduced, reduced a lot. Drastic. And also and comedy going a, audiences have also, have also seems come, like come reduced. Down. Yeah, and because Delhi has after seen the a pandemic, we haven't seen the recovery. If you see the yeah. spat of uh, stand-up com- uh, comedy videos which have come out in the last eight or nine months, even Bombay comics are going to Delhi and shooting their videos there. So oh, this I did not know. Actually. So yeah, it's a it's a kind of recent phenomena. The the normal non comic uh. public like you will realize this a few months later. See, my one incentive was this job. One more incentive was uh. apart from the job itself. Uh. <laughs> but uh, liya khud but no but mera ek incentive tha ki yahan pe aake main spot karega mm-hmm. because i i like doing stand up i like right. doing like i want to try things right you know i want to go up on stage because one thing is i don't care about whether people come whatever it is but i feel like uh, stand up is such a great way to sort of get rid of stage fear mm-hmm. and also Absolutely. sharpen your thought and public speaking skills yeah. That I think it's a perfect way mm. when people boo the heck out of you. Mm. You know, and it's like instant reactions plus instantly pe- you know what is going on. Yeah. Like feedback. So I think it, as a practice, I want to like sort of create material, do material. I might not put it out anywhere. Right. Right? Right. I might not even sell tickets or whatever. <laughs> right. But I just want to do it as a hobby. Mm. Right. If that makes but sense. But I would say then you should You try... can't do that in Delhi though. That's my point. Right. Okay. So as a hobby, mm. if you mm. want to do comedy. Mm. Right. Okay. Um, I mean, serious professional comedians who want to make it in the comedy scene right. might be going to Delhi. Sure. But people like me who just want to try out things on the stage will maybe still come to Bombay. Oh, you're saying there's no middle ground in Delhi. Like you either have to be already like a funny established comedian to be able to perform there. I mean, I don't it? know. I mean, this is what I heard today. Like you told me this right yeah. now. I mean, I haven't performed a lot in Delhi, but you might have something there. Mm. That for someone to start from scratch, mm. Bombay may still make, be a more... Yeah more appealing city to so, be in <clears throat> maybe uh, it's so basically i remember that i was terrified of performing in bombay when i was starting out uh, doing open mics because i was like hey, shit i have no idea how to get into this because mm-hmm. that's also a daunting thing mm-hmm. you need to have a contact <laughs> Uh, who can tell you okay, okay mm-hmm. these are the pro- comedy producers these are jahan pe open mics are yeah. and this is how to sign mm-hmm. up and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. this is what you have to do uh, i didn't know that uh, mm-hmm. luckily i had a friend who was starting organizing shows in goa Mm-hmm. And he was like, come down, do your. I'm like, okay, Goa made. Yeah. There have never been open mics. There'll be no pressure. So you always go for so that's is that is that why you're here? Because you feel that Bombay is uh, maybe like a smaller scene and less less eyeballs on it? Okay, so one thing. So okay, um 
like for example i went to durangos ha huh. right wo chota yeah. sa hi room tha you know was a room in bandra for yeah, the very, s- the old very, <laughs> room, no. very yeah. small room yeah. and whatever like, now you there can is fit in like 40 people at most 15 maximum wo niche wala room tha i wouldn't know okay, that, that guy that... doesn't give me space <laughs> oh you're talking about the, the even smaller even room. smaller yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. true now the thing is uh, again my uh, shreyas he was saying shreyas is my cousin for those who Just don't know him. and comic himself and co-host. comic and co-host so <laughs> he's the one who got me a spot right but yeah. his disclaimer was ki again this is a spot but koi guarantee nahi hai kyunki koi aayega bhi nahi huh. maybe do log aaye to chalega show warna nahi chalega right. now that's the thing so i wanted to try it out so for example if i tweet about i'm performing in dorangos hey, today yeah. in a 15 yeah, seater yeah, hall yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure at least five people will show up. Of course, right? Pretty sure, yeah. right? Two people still showed up even when I didn't tweet about it, right? So um, the point But, is that uh, to do something like this, right, in a Delhi, hmm. I feel like this would not be encouraged. Okay, right? true. Like in Bombay, that guy was still sitting outside, पचास रुपए चार्ज करके वो early bird fee लेके दो तीन लोग लेके आए, फिर और कहीं से और दो तीन लोग लेके आए, जो भी आया वो आया, right? जो भी जुगाड़ करके कुछ तो लोग लाए मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल देर वेर कॉमिक्स वॉन्टेड टू परफॉर्म इवन मोर देन दस एंड चार लोग थे वहां पे मतलब उसका इनकम कुछ हार्डली दो सौ रुपए हुआ होगा बट ही स्टिल लेट द शो गो ऑन फॉर वट एवर ड्यूरेशन बिकॉजेड इन कॉमेडी सीन वेर यू वॉन्ट पीपल यू डोट कैंसिल शोज एज ऑफन शोज कैंसिल डू गेट कैंसिल क्वाइट ऑफन बट यू डोट वॉन्ट टू सो दैट्स वाई प्रोड्यूसर्स इवन वेन नो दे नो दैट दे वोट मेक मनी selling less than any less than 10 tickets mm-hmm. or 20 tickets they still have to run the show because but my, my i, I feel like there is also a logic to that brand um, from what i've understood there is a logic to that for because if you are doing an open mic yeah. maybe an aditi mittal might show up to perform yeah. randomly yeah. Yeah. right or like a kunal kamra might show yeah. up to perform randomly but again that only happens in, in bombay, bombay, bombay right and that is but that's only because they live here they <clears> could be living anywhere like delhi sure. mein i'm sure like uh, an open mic is not in delhi who can be a delhi comic right now हर कुछ वेल विल माय यू नो अमित नो अमित टंडन हैज आल्सो मूव्ड टू बॉम्बे गौरव कपूर गौरव कपूर या ऑफ गौरव कपूर हिलेरियस ही माइट शो अप यू नो एट लाइक रैंडम प्लेस वेट अभिषेक मन्यू इज इन दिल्ली नो नो ही वाज इन दिल्ली ही मूव्ड टू बॉम्बे या या ओह दादर में ही घर लिया कोल एड्रेस भी बता दे चले जा रहा हूं मैं अभी मैं उसका एक ट्रायल सेट देखने गया था ट्रायल सेट उसमें ही बता रहा था कि रे दादर में घर लिया कबूतर गाड़ी पे वो करके चले जाता है एम कैसी हैज द रेंट्स टू पे फॉर दैट व्हेन यू से इट इट्स फनी कैन आई कैन आई पिग बैक ऑफ ऑफ व्हाट यू सेड यू सेड दैट द गाय डिड सम जुगाड़ एंड सोल्ड फोर टिकट्स फॉर पीपल टू कम डू यू थिंक बॉम्बे इज अ मोर जुगाड़ू सिटी देन देन दिल्ली नहीं ब्रो Mm. I think both would have depends. Their own, so yeah. okay, jugaad happens when there is a lack of resources, mm. and uh, people want to get shit done, right? right? And also jugaad is a next is another name for laziness. Um, okay. We pride ourselves as a jugaadu nation, <laughs> yeah. but that's absolute yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Exactly. Like, तुम लोग इज़रो को बोल रहे हो कि ओ जुगाड़ करके इतने सस्ते में रॉकेट लेके and man, I want my <laughs> rocket to be made properly. मत कर जुगाड़, पागल है क्या तू आदमी मतलब कुछ भी हो रहा है. Space में टूट गया कभी तो. Exactly. Like. हो जाएगा जितने में आप ऑटो से माहिम पहुंचोगे ना उतने पे अपन मार्स पहुंच गए रे बट 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 जो गॉड इज आल्सो क्रिएटिविटी एंड स्मार्टनेस टू सम एक्सटेंड यू हैव टू यू कांट डिनाई दैट एंड यू नो वेट या I need to. I need to. <laughs> there is here. there is some smartness. You and creativity can express that. your creativity when you have money also. <laughs> yeah, you can. You have no more money if to you have lack of resources. If you have lack of resources, uh-huh. then. Somehow you have to close your car ka window na so you put paper and whatever ye cheez mere ko hamesha bug karti hai ki india ka har achievement because we had lack of money humne ek har bari lack of money se sentence kyun start ho raha hai ek aur ek aur cheez jo india mein hota hai and i think bombay and delhi especially yaar bahut log hai yahan pe Hmm. बहुत पॉपुलेशन प्रॉब्लम स्क्रू दैट पॉपुलेशन प्रॉब्लम इज अ मिथ बिकॉज़ वी आर लिव इन अ कंट्री जहां पर 2% of the top mm-hmm. 2% own 90% of the wealth right ah. in a country like this you know you mm-hmm. can't talk about population problem population problem is a result of wealth inequality also right mm-hmm. right uske bare mein to koi baat karta hai nahi do yaar bahut bachche paida ho rahe hain what the hell man like we dekh baki bhi to dekho na baki jo parameters hai na which brings me to the density problem 
राइट विच इज डेली और बॉम्बे का डेंसिटी पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी इट सीम्स लाइक बॉम्बे इज मोर डेली हैज मोर पीपल आई थिंक बिकॉज इट्स आल्सो अ लार्जर एरिया एनसीआर एरिया एंड बॉम्बे हैज लेस पीपल बट बॉम्बे इज आल्सो वेरी डेंस सिटी सो लाइक um i feel very claustrophobic after a point Okay. Like I mean, I can live in Bombay for a bit, like a week or whatever. Hmm. But I want to go back to Bo- like True. I can feel it now. Like I mean, it's <laughs> happening to me now. You, you've been here for five days. Five I days. yeah. I mean, I came on Sunday. Yeah, we're recording this on a Thursday. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. four I think, days. I think so. Basically, that has to also do with maybe that Bombay. I feel is a more stressful city than Delhi. Mm. Uh, I think there's like a lot city. more going on. You get out of the house. Ha, everybody like, is moving fast. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. feels yeah. like this, a little this. bit more of a battle. I mean. जो काम हम लोग दो घंटे में कर सकते हैं ना बॉम्बे को वो आधे घंटे में करना है और होता नहीं है होता नहीं है इसलिए इसलिए इट्स अ धंधे वाला सिटी है इट्स अ धंधे वाला सिटी इन द स्टॉक एक्सचेंज बिजनेस या दैट्स वेयर टाइम इज मनी सो फाइनेंशियल ओ देयर इज अ फाइनेंशियल कैपिटल इट फील्स लाइक दैट टू मी लेट मी लेट मी दैट इज मोस्ट स्ट्रेस इंड्यूसिंग लेट मी टेल यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिल्ली एंड बॉम्बे इन एन एनालॉजी ओके व्हेन आई कम टू बॉम्बे आई यूज इंस्टाग्राम मोर व्हेन आई गो टू दिल्ली आई यूज ट्विटर मोर राइट बिकॉज़ Delhi is a city that is built on opinions, but and Bombay is a city that is built on sites. Oh, I always thought it the other way. I would use Instagram more if I go to Delhi because there are so many monuments and open spaces. So monument and all of this. Monument in one day will go. Yaha pe everything is Instagramable. Like yesterday, I was walking from like Shreyas's place to my hotel. Uh, the road was uh, so beautiful and like Bari Shara the Instagram. I it, it's a I, I don't know. That's a, a that's a product of. You don't see Delhi as Instagramable because you've been there. Was you, that you uh, who posted that we are a clean city? So, rose, see, this, look, this is the sea. No, no, no. You didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yeah, that was so. That was oh, yeah. That was that when I got your phone number, I was like, who is Meghna? So, I saw a story. What is it? Then I searched, searched for you on Instagram, and then I saw this story, and I'm like. कॉन्टेक्स्ट बता तो स्टोरी का कॉन्टेक्स्ट वाज कि मतलब वो समुंदर है समुंदर के आगे कुछ पेड़ वेड़ गिरे थे पेड़ वेड़ नहीं था कचरे का डब्बा था वहां पे एंड देन यू वाज लाइक क्लीन सिटी और सुंदर सिटी तो बट बॉम्बे का जो है वो असली में तो यही हो रहा है और नहीं नहीं मैंने इतना कुछ ड्रामा नहीं किया था करने के लिए इंस्टाग्राम मतलब मतलब कि मेरे पे रिसर्च करने का मतलब दावा किया है क्लियरली बहुत गंदा जॉब किया कुछ रिसर्च नहीं किया आई जस्ट माई पोस्ट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम माई पोस्ट वाज सिंपल ओके वेन एवर पीपल कम फ्रॉम डेली टू बॉम्बे फर्स्ट थिंग व्हाट दे डू वो ब्रिज पे जाते हैं और वहाँ पे वो ऐसे ऐसे वीडियो लेके डालते हैं या फिर वो आई लव मुंबई के बाय ब्रिज यू मीन द सीलिंग द सीलिंग ओके ब्रिज माय बैड इट इज अ ब्रिज इट इज अ ब्रिज आई मीन या बट इट हैज अ नेम आई मीन आई डी वे शर्ट हाँ सो द दे डू दैट और देर इज दिस आई लव मुंबई के साथ या फिर वो जाएंगे वो मरीन ड्राइव पे और वहाँ पे लेंगे राइट थ्री प्लेसेस विच आर वेरी एवरीबॉडी डज इट I went to Carter Road, वहाँ पे जो बाजू वाला जो साइड है ना जहाँ पे ऑटो वोटो खेल रहे थे वो जो वहाँ पे कचरा पट्टी है ना और सी दिख रहा है ना मैंने उसका फोटो लिया एंड आई माई टेक्स्ट वहाँ पे वॉज दैट मुंबई यू वेट लिटल अमेजिंग ऑसमनेस यू राइट एंड देन The, the, the next post was that you know everybody was it raining because I yes, said wet was. for no reason. No, it was. It was. <laughs> you <laughs> wet city. <laughs> Since he's been here, it's been pouring. Yeah. Oh yeah. It is a wet city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he made the city wet. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wet ass city. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. wet. Yeah. But uh, um, my and the next point was that you know everybody is posting that. But despite this that I'm seeing, I still like this city. Mm. You know, nobody posts about this. But yeah. there you have it. A Delhi person has admitted that uh, despite all the <laughs> despite all the kachra pati, I still love Bombay. I'm saying so that's been lie. my time. Yeah. <laughs> so, I rest my case, my case. I rest my case. <laughs> no, but but in the end, when it comes down to quality of life, yeah, I would say quality of life is better in. Uh, Delhi, Delhi, <laughs> but 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 okay, guys, this but, format is not working. But all uh, Delhi wale, no, no like see, 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 see. <laughs> so I read this online that quality of life is uh, calculated on the base of cost of living, health, crime rate, and weather conditions. He- health, you can't so breathe health, in Delhi. No, yeah, so health and crime rate are better Bombay wise. Like in mm. a sense, crime rate in Delhi is higher. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Again, when we say health is better, living, it's not like very marginally. Not marginally, like, yeah. but no, no. But our air is way cleaner just because we uh, close the sea, dude. Our air is it, no, it's still beyond acceptable levels, but much cleaner than Delhi, at okay. least. 
uh, weather conditions i would say in bombay i find it better in delhi it becomes too extreme kamar jitna pani hai yaar niche no i yeah. agree uh, to a certain extent that bombay ka weather is better okay. but delhi winters i will not exchange it for yeah. anything else except I for the pollution yeah. i mean like the, if the pollution Small. is down yeah, yeah. uh then it's it's a very good city it's just that delhi lets you experience all the seasons yes. that exist in a year <laughs> <laughs> और मुंबई में एक ही मौसम है yeah. जो है ह्यूमिडिटी और फिर बीच में थोड़ी सी बारिश आ जाती है जिसके बाद फिर आता है ह्यूमिडिटी ह्यूमिडिटी या सो दैट्स ऑसम प्लेसेज एट ड्राइवेबल डिस्टेंसेज लाइक यू कैन गो टू राजस्थान यू कैन गो टू माउंटेन्स लाइक पंजाब चंडीगढ़ उस साइड चले जाओ You can go to Uttar Pradesh side. Me, you can actually go to Madhya Pradesh also. Like we went to Orcha again, eight-hour drive. We went mm. to Nainital, eight-hour drive. We went to uh, Jaipur, four-hour drive. We went to Agra, two-hour drive. Again, all But directions. But do you have a Lonavala? <laughs> we <Wow>. have Manali, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> we have Manali. We have Manali. <laughs> we have Manali. We also have Malana. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys? Uh, Think about the safety, uh, safety yeah, crime. अभी इसमें तो दे ही दो बॉम्बे को point. तो तो there's no the competition. बॉम्बे को point. इसमें बॉम्बे को. I look this up actually. Also the police, I will say, is better in Bombay. But by the way, sure, but by the way, अगर आप अगर आप Google पे check करो, अगर आप Google पे check करो, तो Delhi is a safer city than Mumbai. No, no, no. Google. I have facts. I have facts for you. अरे रुको. It says in terms of number of murders reported, Delhi ranks fifth in all of India. Murders. While Mumbai comes on sixteenth. Okay. No, so Delhi is called the rape capital, crime capital of of, of India. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You yeah. know, people people in Delhi in generally are more violent. I have yeah. to say this. Yeah. Um, Delhi are more hot headed, are more violent, are incredibly rude. Yeah. And in Bombay, whereas uh, people are milder, people are much more well behaved, and also रात को घूमना is okay. Very like okay. I mean, uh, यहाँ yeah. पे like yesterday only I was walking around in 2 a.m. मेरी देर आर सिर्फ मेरी कार्स ऑन द रोड है है कार्स है सब कुछ है नो 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 आई एम सेइंग मुंबई में इवन एट 2 एएम एट 4 एएम इन द मॉर्निंग देयर आर सिर्फ कार्स ऑन द रोड आई यूज्ड टू बी ऑलवेज आई स्टिल आई एम वेरी फैसिनेटेड बाय दैट बट जस्ट लाइक टू दैट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ऑलमोस्ट ऑन एनी रोड दैट आई एम ऑन आई विल सी अदर कार्स ऑन मुंबई ओवरटुक दिल्ली लास्ट ईयर दिल्ली था स्नेहिल वेलकम टू 2022 रख दे 45th पे मुंबई है एंड 52nd पे दिल्ली है ओके बट दैट इज व्हाट टॉकिंग अबाउट क्राइम टॉकिंग अबाउट क्राइम टॉकिंग अबाउट सेफेस्ट सिटीज टू लिव इन Okay, ha. Huh. So also, I I have some more fa- uh, facts. The mm-hmm. murders. Delhi is ranked number fifth in all of India. Uh, Mumbai is at sixteenth. Mm-hmm. Uh, Delhi also ranks number one in kidnappings and abduction. Abductions. <laughs> no, also you know Mumbai why? Mumbai at seventh. Can can I add to why the yes. crime is also high? Uh, yeah. So I just did an episode on news laundry on uh, uh-huh. um, on gun control, gun mm-hmm. control in India, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uttar Pradesh has nutty levels of guns. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah. Katta. Like yeah. the katta industry is so high, and all of them are surrounding Delhi because Delhi is a giant market for kattas, right? So violence होता है वहाँ पे तो बंदूक से होता है. Have either of you ever held a katta? No. No, I'll tell you this. In when I was studying dentistry, I had a, a batchmate who was from UP, and he was talking about how they test these uh, firearms during Diwali because hmm. it, explosions are going. Dentist too. <laughs> and he's not. He's a doctor now. Just putting it out there. So उसने भी बोला यही. उसने भी बोला. वो दाल निकल रही है. <laughs> यही पूछा था कि और तुम कट्टा उट्टा चलाए हो कभी yes, तो आई वाज लाइक कि नहीं कट्टा नहीं चलाया कभी जिंदगी में कभी नहीं चलाया या लूजर ही कभी नहीं हां एग्जैक्टली कॉल्ड अ लूजर आई लव हाउ आर्म्स की बात आते यूपी एक्स कट्टा चलाया तो नहीं चलाया कभी अरे तो क्या किए हो जिंदगी में क्या किए हो जिंदगी में लो पान खाओ फिर यही दांत ठीक करो भाई अ क्लीनलीनेस वाइज So are you saying that uh, the, those guns then get hmm. smuggled into Delhi like th- those firearms There are so there used to be in Bihar in Munger if I'm not wrong yeah. used to be the original katta manufacturing mm-hmm. hub firearms mm-hmm. firearms matlab firearms illegal firearms mm-hmm. specifically um and I think the, the only other firearms that can be made are in ordnance factories right and they have amazing guns if you go to their website they have like Nishant and whatever <laughs> like bahut <laughs> 
मुंबई पुलिस वेंट देर डेली पुलिस वेंट देर बी आर पुलिस नाउ ऑल द न्यू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हब आर इन एंड अराउंड डेली like okay. in the south of delhi mm-hmm. so they've all moved there and the interesting thing is that all the carigars that were trained from munger they are now in high demand in these places because oh. they are being brought in oh. as consultants <laughs> and then they are <laughs> setting up factories <laughs> <laughs> they are setting up factories i think in madhya pradesh it's happening and in delhi also it's happening mm-hmm. and one more place i think kerala so they are they, these are consultants now mm. okay yeah so very fascinating that is very interesting oh uh huh <laughs> <laughs> okay so next word it <laughs> oh there's more yeah yeah that's uh, so basically no, i w- i was coming to a point uh, cleanliness right uh, which city is cleaner both are pretty bad yeah. like there's no i would say delhi there's no delhi one clear cleaner. winner though i think delhi is cleaner but dude clean pollution is part of cleanliness no and pollution to no, i'm thinking fair uh, i uh, get your but point but thinking of like on the road cleanliness i mean cleanliness is, overall i guess the thing is delhi gets more of a cleaned up thing every year because republic day parade the or in independence day all of these things happen no but in, in general that's, that's in all general, your foreign national so, foreign so but like see like in so certain areas of bombay are very clean like pawai is extremely clean a lot of south bombay only is Hiranandani. very clean huh. <laughs> yeah sure uh, only hiranandani uh-huh. but uh, why isn't south bombay clean though it is it is that it is su- comparatively compared to suburbs south bombay is very clean but then like, again they will find like what are you areas. saying it's yeah. not clean at all Like oh, बहुत से यहाँ पे हम जहाँ बैठे हैं This is not South Bombay. What is this? This, this is suburb. Oh, this is a bridge के आगे वाला है. खार. Anything beyond the ceiling. Bandra Worli ceiling. Worli side is South. मतलब कोला बैंड वाला है. If you tell this to Cyrus, he'll flip. <laughs> If you tell him. Oh my God, you didn't know. What? <laughs> uh, okay, but uh, to be fair, uh, Delhi में uh, because seat of power and all that. Yeah, uh, yeah. a lot of money is spent on beautification and cleanliness correct yeah. but i agree with you pollution is also a part of cleanliness and we are shit at it so sure so i i'm going to just draw cleanliness <laughs> <laughs> are you keeping score yes yeah, yeah, oh, okay. he is 0101 acha i want to add one more point yeah. yes. uh, which city has more power <laughs> the ultimate question dekho modi ji kahan baithte hain कल्चर to a large extent is also in calcutta hmm. right uh, chennai has its own thing going on they don't give a shit and then <laughs> it is bangalore it is bangalore huh. right so but in in case of power dynamics hmm. i still feel delhi wins out in the recent past uh, like the 92 93 bomb blasts that happened they happened in bombay because hmm. they wanted to hit the financial, financial capital. capital but at the same time uh, any any political protest that happens like the cnrc even though they were the all, the all far, over the country farmer protest also yeah. farmer protest also they are directed mm. towards mm. delhi because, because that's, that's where the government top is down about, everything yeah. is coming it's from there yeah. mm. so yeah i think depends on the wait city. how did you go from a uh, blast to protest no i'm saying in terms of power 92 to 93 may bombay riots happened bomb blasts happened uh-huh. and that is still even though the the the, the coming down of the mosque happened in up hmm. yeah in ayodhya but the effects were seen in a financial capital like bombay but no there were effects everywhere like there were uh, riots happening everywhere after that bombay right. you can try bombay got more make, attention yeah, yeah. Uh, point i'm trying to make is like in at various points in the recent past things have happened in bombay and delhi both mm. which have wounded india as a whole that's true yeah so uh, so i yeah. mean it's also understandable because uh, media Hmm. is mostly focused on these two cities correct yeah. right because uh, ek to media matlab most hey, of the yeah, media is in uh, most of the media is in delhi delhi, delhi uh, but yes. the biggest media which is apne arnab bhai is in bombay, is in bombay. Right? Uh, right um if you think about it bombay and delhi are obviously given more priority than other cities right. by the media right. and 
we call it the noida media for a reason mm. it's in noida mm. um and uh, also a lot of um, conversations about politics and mm. how the country should be run etc they come from delhi though but that is that is what the cliche is right the latians gang mm. okay they are they in their own bubble and they are dis, dis- disassociated from what actually it's happening. the opposite though like I, when i come to bombay i realize this more that you know yahan pe people are much more, in a, more in a bubble and unaware than people in delhi okay and for obviously i'm it's not like a blaming mm. thing mm. I'm not blaming anyone because mm. I don't think you should read the news unless you want to read the news. I don't think it's a important thing to do. Mm-hmm. Very controversial <laughs> opinion, but yeah, uh, I, I somewhat agree. Yeah. I mean, I mean, my theory is that, uh, say, for example, uh, you will only look up, uh, say, inheritance laws after your grandfather passes Correct. away. Yeah, that is my logic right. towards news, right? You uh-huh. will look for uh, inheritance laws. You will look for marriage laws when you get married. Mm. Like, mm. Otherwise, why do you need to care? Right? right. That is when news comes into uh everyday news debatable whether you need to know a lot of things mm. but what what i'm trying to say is that um mostly policy decisions mostly laws conversations mm. about laws and schemes how people will run these things come from delhi and mm. increasingly it's getting centralized there but the highest number uh, amount of tax comes from bombay right but that's just because we is this are the more real like, again set? coming back mm. to the varun grow yeah, yeah. joke ke yeah. jab bombay wala delhi jata to इंडिया they all have no, they both have like, a lot of it's not like but they have a lot of which leverage which can india function without <laughs> <laughs> uh what controversial wait now. is there a live <laughs> happening by the way no 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 why this is this is a live it's a recording oh just recording it says yeah. live rishi is like mai puri episode mein chup hai par is baat pe to mai comment kar le and the previous 29 ho gaya it's a draw between bombay i would also i would also give a draw power wise power wise the electricity power wise bombay it is better no 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 delhi wins delhi wins delhi wins power wise delhi wins power wise definitely i would i i think you can argue either way for power because again the richest billionaires i would say are in bombay Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> Which is really nice, and also in Delhi, they just Delhi. haven't declared their own. Oh, yeah. वो एक सौ पच्चीस रुपए की नॉनवेज थाली खा रहे हैं फिर. But then, yeah, अगर if power is just government, then yes, it would be. I mean, Delhi, power yeah. is government. Yeah. Yeah, if you're saying it just that way, power, but <laughs> money is also power, no? That's the thing. बट गवर्नमेंट के पास भी बहुत पैसा है महाराष्ट्र अल्टीमेटली अभी कौन सी सिटी चला रहा है डेली सब ऑर्डर कहा से आ रहे डेली मोदी जी कहा रहते डेली I mean, suddenly I want to be on the Mumbai. <laughs> it's true though, but yeah, but yeah. it is very true, right? I mean, no, my that's my larger point also, right? That because we are centralizing, mm. because power is being absorbed by the center, which is mm. Delhi, uh-huh. where the central government is, because like decisions are being taken by like one, two, three people in government. Mm. That is why Delhi is more powerful right now. It's a, it's a, it's a question of a place in time right now. It might change that. Suddenly, someone might come in who will be like, "Sab kuch decentralized kar do, mm-hmm, right?" Mm-hmm. Mujhe ye nahi banda karna, and then the like Bombay will become more powerful because the chief minister sits here, yeah. right? Yeah. But as of now, Delhi is the one taking the shot. Yeah, well. Deputy chief minister Fadnavis ko banaya hai Delhi ne. Correct. Sure, yeah. That's But true. then, I mean, for that matter, then you can make an argument for Chennai also that as a as a as a it's. holding the strength of a state where regardless of what happens in the rest of the country they mm. have their own identity they have their own power structure sure. and they stick with it but influence wise we have not delhi mumbai hai na bhai lekin ha but then yeah he's right then influence wise but still delhi mumbai i mean power comes from influence how yeah, many people sure. you can influence so like technically delhi will always win out on that one okay yeah. and then second is mr faizul मिस्टर अबे यार जो की लाइन काट दूंगा मैं मिस्टर फैजल यू सेड 
पैजू कौन है पैजू अरे उन्होंने बोला ना कि इट इट डिपेंड्स कि कौन गैंगस्टर वाले बोल रहे हैं सबसे ज्यादा इन्फ्लुएंस कर सकता है तो इन्फ्लुएंसर है कोई तो हां मिस्टर पैजू इज लाइक द मोस्ट पॉपुलर इन्फ्लुएंस रॉन्ग क्राउड ओके सॉरी ओके सो uh yeah, let's tally up really. let's tally, let's tally, tally. Yeah. let's tally so basically we uh, the rounds were not rounds the <laughs> the sub topics over this yeah. were like uh, food mm-hmm. then roads infra public transport metros etc electricity even i put uh, all of that uh, in one actually electricity we can't put that yeah uh, because <laughs> roads and all everything delhi is winning uh, then safety crime uh, was one cost of living uh, show of fitness <laughs> uh weather pollution population stress levels uh so acceptance of outsiders i'm just i'm just recapping yeah normal uh, recap chal raha hai abhi <laughs> cleanliness and power so after that uh the total was 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 and 1 2 3 4 5 so mumbai मतलब तुम्हारी जिंदा रहने के चांसेस बॉम्बे स्टूडियो सो मैं तीन वीक दिल्ली में ही रहने वाला हूँ यू नॉट लुकिंग फॉर बाई द वे आई थिंक आई वी एम ऑल्सो थिंग्स दैट डेली इज इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑफ नॉन फिक्शन वहीं पर चलेगा पर हम तो पर तुम लोग तो हम तो सब लोग ही कैसे हो गए रे हम फिक्शन बनाए कैसे होते हैं रे लाइक मतलब that that us, settles it for it yeah we we have solved it for every online debate that happens yeah. every youtube video that is made about mumbai versus delhi yeah uh, we know for a fact that mumbai is uh, 2 points not as great <laughs> <laughs> sorry mumbai. recommendations dene na bhi yes yeah after this that'll be after this very short break so please stay tuned all right let's get started with some recommendations abbas would you like to start us off please so i am recommending something that is not new it's uh, actually an album that came out in 1986 but it has come back into the conversation which is um, metallica's album master of puppets huh. uh, it's come back into the conversation because it was <laughs> used in episode 7 no episode nine. episode 9 of stranger things season 4 a uh, very iconic scene where eddie starts playing this riff to nah. distract the bats from the down under and um, uh, I have always loved the album, and I'm really happy that people, you know, new people are discovering it. <laughs> new people, uh, <laughs> people who are new, younger people, the younger people. You are a new, new person. But uh, so the the uh, album has I think eight songs, and all eight of them are kick-ass. Uh, if you like Master of Puppets, you will surely like all the other. Uh, what uh, what, what are some of the famous well. songs from that album? So there's Battery, there's Sanitarium, okay. Okay. Um, there's uh, there's really. kick ass song called disposable heroes which is also uh, really good my favorite song from the album is sanitarium and uh, this is actually uh, was metallica's third album so okay. it has hmm. their early thrash metal sound and it was the last album to feature the ba- their bass player cliff burton who then passed away after this album hmm. so those okay. three cliff burton albums are really really iconic so do check it out and uh, yeah metallica's master of puppets yo Uh-huh. All right. I'm making devil horns. Yeah, that's R and B. Yo is not a rock. Yeah. Uh, see you, boy. Uh, I would like to recommend this short film on uh, YouTube that goes by the name The Last Chapter. Uh, K K Menon is in it. Okay. Wow. Wow. And uh, it's a short twenty twenty minute film. Uh, on YouTube. Uh, okay. on the banner uh, royal stag large short film select uh it's about uh, a writer jisne ek kitab likhi aur wo uska aakhri chapter likh raha hai mm-hmm. and uh, matlab i don't want to like tell kyunki short film mein itna kuch bada uske andar hai nahi jo main agar bhi bata dunga to wo wo fun khatam ho jayega dekhne ka yeah. uh, but if you like i think you should like but if you have like 20 minutes to spare and you want to consume like amazing content दिस फिल्म देखनी ही देखनी चाहिए एंड के के मेरन की एक्टिंग के लिए तो यू नो देर इज नथिंग दैट यू कैन से दैट हैज बीन सेड अभी तक तो इट्स एन अमेजिंग वॉच एंड यू शुड डेफिनेटली वॉच इट द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑन यूट्यूब आई वॉन्ट टू रिकमेंड 
one podcast which is uh, small town dicks small town dicks <laughs> yeah it's it's not as it sounds uh, it's basically about like, uh, these very normal cases in uh, small town america crime cases it's a true okay. crime podcast okay. so the woman who voices uh, lisa from simpsons yeah she ah, hosts okay. it and with two detectives who are twins and they bring in like one detective who has handled a case like some case random case robbery hoga ah. koi gambling ka scene hoga ye hoga whatever and they just narrate the tale as if they are sitting at a bar or something like you know talking to them and these guys are like oh aisa hua oh aisa hua <laughs> so it's very fun small town dicks listen to it uh, and the other recommendation ye is it only an audio podcast or is it small town dicks it's an uh, in audio podcast audio. completely and the other podcast i would recommend is uh, bhartiya janta podcast <laughs> if you would have heard of this so it's it's like three people uh, who have started this they are now friends because they are like from news laundry times i know them etc right. so one is sitting in harvard one is in like oslo and one is in uh, america somewhere so all three of them come to talk about politics okay and uh, <laughs> i feel like they're very funny yeah. and plus i went on their episode last week so they, it will be releasing yeah, go i think to soon, that episode, so nice. yeah, yeah yeah great so if you like ivm podcast actually you will really like that because it has this somewhat the same vibe Alright, cool. So Except political. Small town dicks <laughs> and Bharatiya Janta, Janta podcast. podcast. Uh, those are the two recommendations of Make Nuts. Mine is a series I got into just two days back, and I have I feel watched almost every single single video in that series. It's a series on the YouTube channel CNBC Make It, uh, which the series is called Kevin O'Leary Reacts. Okay. Okay. Kevin O'Leary is Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank, from the American Shark mm-hmm. Tank. Okay. And he his all his advice on Shark Tank is some of my favorite. Like his Mark Cuban advice mm. is always like great. Uh, he will he's very frank. Mm. Uh, he's very honest. Mm. He will always uh tell you why what you're asking for is not. Is he feasible. the bald guy? He's the bald guy. That's been okay. Mr. Wonderful. He's great. Okay, so he has a series on CNBC Make It <laughs> where he me, reacts. Me just one second, Antrik. Me and Snehil just looked at each other and laughed. Yeah, that's true. Bald people bald do guy. give great advice. <laughs> Shut your mouth. He Please only relates continue. to people who are bald. <laughs> uh, so Kevin Leary has a series called Kevin Leary Reacts where he uh, reacts to videos on another channel uh, on another channel called uh, Millionaire. Uh, sorry, uh, Millennial. uh something something millennial like basically it's the, these are videos on how millennials spend their money okay okay and it's but, very but interesting so basically like... he talks about he will break down everything from the video like mm. for instance i'm looking at one video right now called uh, living on 1.6 million dollars a year in los angeles okay so there's a dude who has made a video okay. about how he lives on 1.6 million dollars a year how he saves where he invests all the property he has bought etc etc so he's reacting to yeah, this yeah and kevin kevin leary goes through his entire portfolio and then reacts to Okay, no, it's okay. That's a smart investment. That's a great okay, way to save money. Okay. That's fucking amazing. Oh. Uh, this guy is very smart. Then he gives it like a rating. Oh, this mm. guy's portfolio is like uh very good, but he didn't diversify enough from property. Mm. Most of his assets are in property. So I would give him right because so, that I'll give him uh, like an eight. How much of uh, how many things have you invested in since you started watching? This? Uh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> I had investments in crypto and took those out. As as you as as on Trick Shay. Took my money out. Uh, but After I took the my money out. After the market crashed. No, no, no. no. Way before. Yeah. Good. good. Yeah. And Trish like I have too many vices. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you think I you think I save money? My now, abhi bhi ek crypto pe bhai tha. Now abhi bhi hai. Abhi par kya chal raha hai? Gusa hai. Acha nahi chal raha. Gusa hua hai. Gus gaye. Unke gusa hua hai. Samajh nahi aapko jo aap puch raha hu ki aur kya hai? So you watch Kevin O'Leary, <laughs> but you know actually Kevin O'Leary has twenty percent of his net worth in crypto. He said. Uh, but that's because he has he has true. personal investments also like uh, we we, we in, should do an IBM like on crypto then at some point at some point uh, someone with enough knowledge will need you you, you, you understand that that whole thing enough you know? ha ha I mean yeah. we used to do a show with Rohan Joshi about crypto. I mean yeah you know I used to do it I was a producer for the show but <laughs> <laughs> after see, my understanding about finances is only till like a certain level after that anything beyond that what is that like level concept. सुपर बेसिक भाई मेरे को एच डी एफ सी से फोन आ रहा है पॉलिसी के बारे में लाइक आई डोंट इवन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक म्यूचुअल फंड इन जनरल Yeah, okay. हाँ, fair enough. Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. भाई मुझे फोन आ रहा है से एक इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी के बारे में 
are okay, stupid. Thank, but and these yeah. are the people who live in the financial capital. Of yes, yes, correct. Yes, we are. Yeah. At it's least not me... like we're making any money. Okay, we're comedians. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm power capital. Me, I can power. Ke bar mein baat to kar sakta ho. <laughs> but before we wrap up, Nikhil, anything you want to plug apart from the podcast that you did? Where can people follow you on social media? Oh yeah, so uh, you can follow me on at me Meghnad. Uh, that is uh, and uh, Instagram pe Meghnad S is my handle, so you can follow me there. And my DMs are open. Uh, please uh, talk to me. Please pitch podcast to me. I yes. guess now. Um, and I will we'll be hearing yeah, a lot we'll more. Hearing from you. a l- lot more from <laughs> lot. <laughs> Bore हो जाओगे हैं. Lot more. <laughs> All right, great. That brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. See you guys next week. Bye bye.